Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport SEL Premium R-Line. This particular one is pure gray on the exterior with Titan black and quartzite gray leather interior. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, LED all-weather lights. That much more aggressive R-Line front end with the larger air intakes with the splash of chrome and piano black. Our line badging right here, right beside the headlight. A front facing camera right there, there as well. It says cross port on the side quarter panel right here. 21 inch R line Brazelton wheels, silver window, silver uh, chrome window sills, and then silver roof rails. That chrome line continues down the base of the car. There's body color paint below that chrome line. Continues into the bumper and into the faux exhaust tips there, the faux quad exhaust tips. It says SEL V6 on the left side and 4 motion on the right side there. Now look at those signature tail lights. It features keyless entry on all four doors, push button start, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, and many more features. Let's take a look inside. Before we climb in, it's kind of hard to see there, but there is a Volkswagen logo shining on the ground there. There's Volkswagen puddle lights. On the door inset, you have quartzite gray with the premium stitch here and quartzite gray on the arm pad. Here's a look through quartzite gray on the bolster here and up the sides behind the shoulders. And that contrast stitching in the headrest. It also continues down the side here in the bolster as well. These are heated and ventilated seats. But let's take a look around inside real quick. There's a look at the seats there. Have the window sticker sitting on the seat there. Now this one just came off the truck. It's not fully uh, ready to go yet, but it's going to the St. Louis Auto Show next week. So it's not available for sale yet. It'll be available for sale after the auto show. There's a look at that panoramic sunroof. We'll go over that too. But as you look around here, carbon fiber pattern right here on the door panel, Fender Premium Audio, for the audio system and then uh, that nice premium stitch right here and the armrest here you do have a power lift gate button right here I can lift up on that guy right there and that opens that rear hatch and I can lift up and close it as well Volkswagen's digital cockpit is right here you do have three views here this is the dial screen this is the wide screen, and then this is the crop screen here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move navigation over to the dash here so you can see what that looks like, so you know what I'm talking about here. So it took it from here, and it's gonna bring it over here. There's that crop screen again. There's the dial screen, and then there's the wide screen right there. And I can zoom in using these buttons right here. Very nice. And I can zoom out using the button down here, the, the, arrow, the arrow down button. Dynamic road sign display up here at the top. Adaptive cruise control lane assist. This is my driving mode here, my temperature outside. And also this is just telling me my front assist is, is working in the background. It's kind of idle right now, but it's working. Um, then there's the heated steering wheel right there. Parking gear right here. And our line badge right there. And then your speedometer over here. Fuel gauge off to the right and temperature gauge off to the left now in this car here you have this flat silver finish that goes across from the door across the dash over here and the other door over there and there's that carbon fiber pattern right there with the fender audio also you do have it across here and in the steering wheel so the three spokes of the steering wheel are trimmed out in this flat silver your volume buttons are right here and your song skip buttons are over here um, and then also um, you do have a splash of piano black down here at the base with the R-Line badge. This is a telescoping steering wheel. I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where I need it. Chrome covered pedal caps down below down here. Then you do also have automatic headlights here. Um, you pull out on this guy here to do the poor weather lights or all weather lights, just like fogs. You have a coin box for storage right here. The steering wheel has this sport grip on it here, if you can see that. at nine and three over here that only comes on the r lines 
and then on the radio here we have this AM FM and satellite radio so here's FM and it does gesture control I can wave my hand in front of that and get it to go there you go so gesture control is pretty cool as long as you see that hand right there it's looking for hand movements right around here um, and then you do also have a backup camera the backup camera it's pretty spectacular it has trajectory steering I turn the wheel to the left the yellow line moves to the left I turn the wheel to the right the, the steering wheel moves to the right it's showing you uh, where you're headed trajectory wise now also um, Bluetooth is built into this so you got wireless Android Auto wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless mirror link so you set up your Bluetooth and then once you do that it's gonna prompt you for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay depending on your technology and it is completely wireless speaking of wireless you have a wireless charger pad right here so you can charge your phone right here on this guy it'll work on most phones you do have two USB-C connections right here as a backup you can do the old-school wireless or wired uh, plug-in for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay and also for charging your phone. There is a 12 volt charger port right here as well, right there. And then you do have, uh, when we call them the climate control, heated and ventilated front seats, dual zone climate zone up here. Uh, so I can actually run the heated uh, seats and the ventilated seats at the same time. I'm not feeling that right now. It's, it's 23 degrees out and we're getting freezing drizzle today. Uh, but the camera here, this is pretty pretty spectacular, the backup camera. Um, you do also have, for um, audio, you have that Fender Premium Audio. So here's your, your equalizer with the subwoofer. You can change subwoofer, bass, your mids, treble, and you can hit the minus button to do that as well. And you also have the seat position button here where you can change the location of the sound. So if you have someone sleeping and you don't want them to mess mess with them or disturb them you can move it around and then you can hit the bullseye or you can move it around this way pretty cool uh, back to the radio here again it's am fm and satellite uh, you do have a little storage bin up here there's a speaker right here this is only in the sel and sel premium that that speaker's up there uh, over here in the glove box there's your manuals right there seat belt clip protectors those orange things right there so if you're using car seats that's what those are for um, lots of storage in there as well here's a look at the seat close up that side bolster of quartz right there with the premium stitch heated and ventilated leather seats here lots of storage for bottles or cups over there and you do have a power seat for the passenger as well so both front seats are power uh, you do also have this little knob right here when it comes to uh, off-road or snow mode just turning this knob to snow brings this guy up here then you have driving mode selection when you go back to the roadway here you have eco normal sport or custom and then you have off-road and then off-road custom and off-road custom is going to allow you to tweak these things here turn on hill descent or turn off hill to hill assist park assist uh, you can change how it's on or off um, you can turn on different things and change different aspects of the drive it does have light assist if you're wondering what that is that's automatic high beams and low beams um, along with that dynamic uh, um, road sign display um, you do also have a mode button right here where I can push and rather than get fingerprints on here by touching up here I can push right here and do the same thing very nice okay also auto start stop shut off is right here so this car does have a stop sit uh, auto start stop system so when you come to a stop sign or a red light it will may shut off if the engine's not needed you can hit this button here to disable that function and that works with every start your shifter of course is right here push button is right here and then your e-brakes right here just lift up on it to activate it and push down on the brake with your foot and then push down on that to release your park uh, cameras are right here your 360 camera that brings it up on the screen right here so I've got an overhead view here and I can touch a quadrant to change which camera shows up over here and then I can touch the rooftop and I'm back to overhead uh, that button is right here and then also park assist park assist button is right here or, or right there and this is what it looks like on your screen here it's gonna tell you where to go it's looking for cars parked and I'm parked in a uh, at an angle in the parking lot here so it will actually figure out where you're parked 
or where you're uh, trying to park and where an open spot is and it'll tell you uh, reverse it'll tell you which gear to go into I've got other videos of park assist so you can see that but it you control the gas the gear and the brake and it does the steering storage right here so there's a USB-C connection right here so that gives you three up front lots of storage in here you can get a drop-in safe to put in here as well nice big armrest right there let's take a look at the second row seats now the window sticker is right here so I'll go over that I'm gonna shut the door here because it's doing freezing drizzle outside there's a look at the door inset right there and the arm pad normally I go over the window sticker before I get in and then the sunshade is right here I can't get it to go up with the one hand here but it, it hooks up right here for you um, you have that on both sides let's see if I can do this side over here nope I can't I can't see it I'm trying to film at the same time but you do have the sunshade there this car comes in at 52,635. Okay, the extras on this one include 395 for the pure gray color. That's the paint color. Atlas Crossport MDO package for 815. And then a Volkswagen logo puddle light set for 200 bucks and a roadside assistance kit for 85 bucks. Bringing you to 52,635 right there. All right, so armrests. Here's the armrest right here. It folds down. This is how you know you have a new car, the plastic right here, it's on there. So uh, it's a cup holder, it's squishy yet firm. There's a little loop here, they pull it down and push it back up. Adjustable headrest right here, here, and here. Car seat hookups are here and also here. There's no car seat hookups in the middle row like they are in the regular Atlas. Looking through from the back to the front here. There's a look at your instrument cluster right there. Center uh, console, radio, shifter armrest right there and a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof it does have a power sunshade this one does also have the home link mirror the home link mirror with three door garage door memory and then also a bluetooth button right there i accidentally hit the activate button there um but it's it's not going to activate to anything uh digital compass right there as well here's a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof again and the power sunshade, it's gonna steal all my light because it's a cloudy overcast day. But it's a black headliner. There goes that panoramic sunshade. And then up here, you do have a vanity mirror on each side with an LED light above, just like that. And then you also have carnet free for five years. These are your carnet buttons here. The I button is for information. Uh, the wrench is for roadside assistance. And the SOS button is for emergency services. Very nice setup. These seats back here are also gonna be heated. I do have lots and lots and lots of leg room here. I'm gonna open this back up for some light. Lots of leg room back here. I have easily six to nine inches of knee space back here in the back seat here. This bench seat does not move. However, that seat moves forward or back and I was just sitting in it and had plenty of leg room there. Um, magazine pocket here and also over here. Heated seat buttons are right here for both, both uh, rear seats, outboard seats anyway. This middle seat doesn't have a heated seat. You do have two USB-C connections right there and a three prong plug in right there as well very nice setup and this is three phase on the buttons as well there's a look more storage for cups and bottles again another speaker right there for the fender audio let's take a look at the rear hatch there's a look at those alloy wheels those are brazeltons they're 21 inch wheels and as we lift this up here it's a power lift gate there's a look through from the back to the front to look up at the giant panoramic sunroof Roadside assistance kit, monster mats are right here. This one also has a cargo cover. Cargo blocks right here. And the front license plate that is still in this bag here. This is a goodie bag for being PDI'd. These seats will fold down as well. So there is a little bit of a step there. And there's also these two pieces of carpet here. These two pieces of carpet are designed. So for that wide seat, you'll use the wide piece of carpet. It covers the, the gap between the floor here and the back hatch and the seat folded down. And then that, that seat over there will use the smaller one. There's an uh, incandescent bulb in here right here for the trunk light. 
There's one over here as well. And a bag, bag hook right here. And also right here. 12 volt charger port right there. And then there's a look at your power lift gate right there. You just push that button right there. This does have the easy kick open hatch as well. There's a look at the trailer hitch hookup. It pulled 5,000 pounds. It's a seven, seven pin adapter uh, attached there. I look at those LED tail lights again. This car comes with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles and includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change will be covered by Volkswagen. And if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we'll give you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20 and 30,000 mile oil changes will all be covered. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm gonna give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in this car, give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. And if your search brings you to Missouri from out of state, you can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. Again, just give me a call. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Happy holidays and stay safe and enjoy the new year. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.